Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped. It's like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Pitting an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Then look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Which you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. Why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East? Oh, slow down, man! I can't wait yeah. for you to meet the boy. Exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. I bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead Deke into town. Make the exchange. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like... All right, sunshine, let's move. I'm walking, God. Move. You get yours, you Why son of a bitch. so damn long. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers. Wait, where's Bonnie, you bastard? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch. You got a problem with me. Nice. I know. Bonnie! Where are you? Where is she, you bastard? You think I'm joking? Let her go, or I'll kill every last one of you. Sons of bitches! Did somebody send a man for me to fight? This is Ford!
with Bonnie. I thought we had a deal. Well, yep. Borrow this friend. Forgive me, friend.
Let's go. Might as well.
That's one. Hey, partner. There you go. Well, I'm always after items of quality. That's a fine deal. Marshal best step up post haste. Men starting to question his steel. That's it. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no longer matter. I bid you good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Austin, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm um, well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> um, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. Mr. West Dickens. And I am about you, John Marston. Hood week in the week, gullible out of their hard-earned money. Get back on the road. We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such an ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with the cub. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. Stay on the road! You're going to destroy the merchandise! My thousands of happy customers attest to that. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. For the love of God, try to stay on the road! Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you be fair, Iago, or Cassio, mate. I don't like the sound of that. Get back on the road! We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood! 
Stay on the road! You're going to destroy the merchandise! Showmanship job! The flourish! The bow! We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll this. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be on you. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the paying public. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a shit. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. For the love of God, try to stay on the road! Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Boyatch camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future! Come on, we must not delay! Onward to Ridgewood! Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of it by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight has greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess.
shoot it remarkable the eyesight of an eagle granted by imbibing dr westicken's own patent tonic anybody can make that shot this man is a fraud if your eyes so damn sharp why don't you try to shoot my hat out of the air my friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready to shoot that hat. You're more crooked than a snake in a cat. Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir. Looked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like that, right? Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Look at him! The tonic is coursing through his veins! Look at that! Inhuman strength! Now I'm There it is, skeptics and dissenters! Irrefutable proof! Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Look, he's over there! Go get him! Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive! Oh, hey, marvelous shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens Elixir! Come! I have plenty for all! No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks bearing gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Uh.